I'm doing a tattoo tour. I got a lot of like little ones everywhere. And I'm also probably gonna keep count. People keep asking me how many I have and then to show them. And I'm like, I don't got answers for you, dude. Hopefully this video will answer. And then um, I'm going to show you my new uh, cosplay costume at the end of this. It did not, I, I ordered it and I thought it was gonna be great. But the, when it came, it's not what I wanted. So I'm going to show you the costume and then show you what I'm going to do to it to make it how I want it to be. So yeah, we are going to start the arms. So this one is lips. It's supposed to, it was supposed to be like vampire lips. But she messed up. That's really all I can say about it. I am probably going to like add something to it or cover it or something i don't know it's just kind of there for now yeah okay so this one is like my favorite right now <laughs> it's one of my newer ones i had just um updated it i don't know the word for it i fixed it but it's ghost face <laughs> and that is actually my drawing um, oh, I will say Shay did like all of these except except two of them, which this one, I mean, she started it, but oh, three of them, three of them she didn't do. So that's, I'm going to count that as one of the three because like I finished it and I've kind of gone over all of it. So like what you see isn't really what she did. <laughs> um, I want to add like a quote around it Shay has her ghost face which is the same thing as this um right here that i did and then she got a quote around it which i also did um i just need a quote around it and i haven't fully decided i'm kind of leaning towards um movies don't create serial killers movies make serial killers more creative psychos not serial killers psychos that's kind of what i'm leaning towards and then this, if you can get, actually read it. Is that backwards? I don't know. It says she's an undiscovered element. It's a lyric from a Sleep Token song. And like ever since I heard that line, I just like, I was obsessed. And I'm like, yes, I related to it so much. And so I did that one. Um, it does need to be fixed. There's like a couple letters that aren't showing up, but yeah, I kind of want to do more sleep token lyrics on tattoo them more. Um, this is a video camera. Um, I've always been interested in film and YouTube, so I felt that it isn't one of her best ones. This is the one that she did. And then I got this little ghost dude. I named him Freddy. I liked it. Um, okay, so this is the last one that I did, and it's Keys from Pirates of the Caribbean. This is the first tattoo I've ever done. It's not the best, but again, I love it. And then I want to get the dark mark from Harry Potter here, because I'm such a huge fan of Harry Potter. I love it. You'll notice that I have a few of them already. Okay, on this side, I have this tattoo, which... It's really hard to see, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to get it covered. It is... <laughs> Shay just totally messed up on that. Which is fine. She's not a professional. It's fine. And then I got this key. It's got four-leaf clover on it. Like, to represent Irishness. And then this key. Which also isn't the best, but... None of these are the best. I love them all though. This is from Doctor Who, it's the TARDIS key. And Doctor Who is my favorite TV show, so. And then, <laughs> this is Hi, just says Hi. Um, it's a One Direction tattoo. Shay has a matching one, it says Oops right there. And those kind of were the first words that Louis and Harry ever said to each other. And then, this is DW which stands for Dean Winchester. And Shay has 
SW, which stands for Sam Winchester, and it's from Supernatural. And we've got another One Direction tattoo here, the airplane. And then I got a bunny. Um, in the Harry Potter world, you have a Patronus, which is basically just like an animal version of you. And mine is a mountain hare. So I got bunny. And then I got these bats. Um, I, I really love bats. And this area, part of the body where it's at, is the same place that Eddie Munson has bat tattoos. Eddie Munson from Stranger Things. I'm a huge nerd. I got a lot of different fandoms. Um, but he doesn't have the same exact bats but they're kind of like that but um baby sarian who i'm a huge fan of she's a youtuber she does like murder mystery and makeup mondays and then she also does dark history and i i'm obsessed with them um she has that same design but like right here or something so it's kind of got like two of my favorite things in there and then this little cute little teddy bear with x's Ugh. i just fell in love with it when I saw it, she has like a book of just like random tattoo drawings and I saw it in there and I thought it was so cute. <laughs> so cute. So why not? And then also this coffin with a bow on it. Ugh. That one also needs to be fixed. Make it darker lines. But like, <laughs> so cute. <sighs> oh, and then I got this dagger, which is my drawing. And this is also... I'm not, I don't really like it. Like, I love it, but at the same time, I don't. It just seems a little short. But, um, what it is, is it's Loki's dagger. And in the show Loki, he says that love is like a dagger, which in the show, and a lot of people are like, I don't, that doesn't really make sense, but I think it did. And so I just added the word love in there. And then, <sighs> this is another Harry Potter one. And yes, it kind of goes up, but we're going to fix that in some way or another. <laughs> but it says, it's not much, but it's home. And when Ron Weasley says it, um, I really, this is probably one of my deeper tattoos. Because that's just kind of how I feel about my body. It's like, it's not the best body, but it's home. It's my home. It's what I was given. And so it's my home. I'm going to have to put on a different shirt to show you. The other ones. Oh, and shorts. I just gotta be a slut to show you all my tattoos. So, also on this arm is seventh. There's a TH there. It's really small. I wanted it to be really small. I always wanted to have a seven on my body just because that number is like really powerful. There was a night where like Shay and two guys that we've been friends with basically since seventh grade. And we just decided to get, all get a matching tattoo that says seventh on it. Which, I don't know. I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge fan of it. I kind of wish I just got the seven, but we all got it in the same spot. This one is another favorite of mine. This knife tattoo, it's like right along my collarbone. <laughs> um. I just, I like knives and serial killers, so. I definitely want to add like red and do like blood dripping. <laughs> That'd be really cool. And then this is just a planchette with the number 13 on it. It just kind of represents my paranormalness and love of paranormal. Yeah, okay, so on the back, let me get down. So it's easier. I got the word history. Um, that is another One Direction tattoo. It's the title of their last song, which was made for the fans. So I got that. And then also on my back, right in the middle, is this X, which is for my favorite YouTubers, Sam and Colby. They got, um, their brand is basically Explore, which is XBLR. I got a bunch of clothes. I should do that for a video show all their merch that I have. I have so much. <laughs> They're my favorite. I'm obsessed. And Colby Brock 
has the same tattoo. I just need to be filled in more. But it hurt. It really hurt. I'm scared, but it doesn't need to be filled in more. Okay. And then I got this. Let's see how close I can get. <laughs> Deathly Hallows. Also from Harry Potter. And then I got this cat in a circle tattoo. I did that one for a video because Lane, Shay's kid, picked it out for me. And I I really like it. I like black cats. I want one so bad. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. And it's like, it's cracked really bad. But like, oh. and then, oh, I got a zit right there. <gasps> Sorry. That's gross. I got a penguin here. Those are just supposed to be like blush circles. I don't know how you can see that. Yeah, it just kind of looks like eyebrows and eyes, but the eyebrows are supposed to be the eyes closed. And this was just be like blush marks. But Shay didn't understand that. Oh, and this one I always forget. I don't know how we, if you can see that. I can't even look. But I got an upside down cross, <laughs> which is kind of representing me not being part of the church anymore. I used to be in the Mormon church, but I left. And so this is just kind of like a anti-religion tattoo, basically. I hope you were counting, because I wasn't. Let me know how many there were in the comments below. Um, I'm going to pull out the costume now and show you what that is. So this is the costume. Yes, I'm wearing black shorts. I started filming and I realized that you can see my underwear, so I haven't put black shorts on. Anyways, as you probably tell, it's like, it's tight. It's tight. It's not the right size. And so it's very short. This is Rose from Titanic, by the way. I wanted to wear this for 31 days of Halloween. But as you can see, it's not the best. It doesn't even have the blue. And it's small and really short. So what I'm thinking of doing is adding another layer, which will cover, you know, showing anything, hopefully, of like white to make it kind of layered and longer. Layered will be perfect because like that was a thing in the 20s that you did, you layered. I am also working on losing weight right now. I know I don't look that fat anymore. I at least look so worse. But I think it'll be fine. And plus I can breathe and everything. And then maybe getting, maybe just making like a little teal blue see-through jacket at the top. I'm just adding that. I almost wanted to, since it was really short, it's like a perfect length for Rapunzel dress. And I almost wanted to just turn this into a Rapunzel dress. But then I'd have to like change almost the entire thing, which wouldn't be worth it. I might as well just keep it as a rose dress but fixed um let me know what you think i should do with this dress like how you think i could improve it and also let me know which tattoo was your favorite i really i really like the ghost face and my knife tattoo those two are like my favorites oh another tattoo that i want to get is from pirates of the caribbean and i already have one but like I love those movies a lot. The first three or four. Uh, the fourth one's okay. First three are like the best. Anyways, um, I don't remember which arm it is. I don't know where it is. Um, Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow has like a pea burn. Wow. I cannot think of words today or any day, honestly brand he's got he was branded and he got a p for pirate and i kind of want to get a tattoo that looks like a branded p so i could be branded as a pirate mainly just to be like captain jack sparrow i can't remember what it was but i'll figure it out and i'm gonna do that because that's gonna be sick anyways i love doing little tattoos and i kind of re i really want like just arms full of 
little cool tattoos that also represent my fandoms remember to follow your dreams and i love you guys bye